Hey, this is Amanda here, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, show you around my garden. And this is a, another visitor we have. Um, whether it's a toad, I think it's probably a toad, isn't it? Not sure. We've got the little baby, um, what do you call it, the singing frogs. But uh, I think that's a toad. There, there are patches of water um, around the property and um, where possible we make sure that we're not breeding a generation of mosquitoes but these critters seem to find their way in the garden I've seen quite a few of them and um, I think they eat mosquito larvae so the circle of life okay so this is really going to be an overview video and I will kind of go into more specifics in terms of plants and um, things I'm growing. I'll, I'll kind of give you kind of, yeah, general overview. So here, in this particular section, it was um, supposed to be for herbs and under that glass, it's a frame, the, um, the back of the picture frame I don't know, it went mouldy. I, I think it's quite a lot of high humidity in the home. And so, you know, even though you're opening and closing windows, um, because this is leaned up against, was leaned up against the wall. So the, there was um, a reduced amount of um, flow. Um, so anyway, I've repurposed it and used it as a mini greenhouse. And what I did was plant basil and sage under there, because when I put it in the pots and out, we had a really, um, bad rain and all of the soil and the seeds washed away that way because we're on a slope. I hadn't realised we were on such a, a slope until <laughs> it all disappeared. So he looks like he's going to go off and cool himself off. Anyway, so using it to see if I can do a mini greenhouse. So along here I'm growing at the back where that bottle is is zucchini and the reason why you can see the forks there kind of just old forks I'm repurposing is we have a high number of the large um, African snails they're massive and even their babies they just eat their way through everything so that's the fourth I planted four the first time they ate them all I planted another two one's gone even though it was protected by the forks and I put that bottle there just to kind of again mini greenhouse try and get it to a certain stage in front you've got um, this is like an orange blossom and I found that one growing just by the side of the road so I thought well let me see if I take some of the seeds because I've got an orange blossom tree or you might not call it orange blossom in Barbados um, but it doesn't flower or seed so I don't know whether it's the male plant. Anyway. And in this part, I was going to grow okra and beans. So I planted a row of beans. They didn't come up. Or if they did, they were eaten very quickly. This is the out of about 10 okra seeds that I planted. This is the only surviving one. So maybe I have to start them off in pots and then plant them out. So I was repurposing the milk carton and in there I had like about 50 gala melon seeds and they all sprouted and I was going to plant them out the following day after they were about a couple of centimetres. Came back the next morning, every single head had been eaten off by snails. Um, in this particular one is pawpaw and in the third one I had some apple seeds I thought I'd try. Um, these seeds, um, plants that seem to be doing quite well, are, um, I found a seed pod, it's, it's a tree that produces pink flowers and um, so I'm just seeing how well, how far I can get them to grow. 
So this particular area that I'm trying to work on, or one of the areas that I'm working on, I'm kind of spreading myself quite thinly in the garden. So what I was, so I've got my compost bin and I wanted to have this as an area where I can um, and have a mini greenhouse so that I can, you know, be here, there's some shade um, and I can put seedlings and get them to grow here before I transplant them out. So that's the idea and everything that would have come with it is here. So some of my tools and things like that. And um, under this tree, which is a mahogany tree, I have to cut this back. Um, just recently found out there's a mahogany when I saw the fruits. You, might, you won't be able to see it from here, but the fruits, um, there's two of them that have come out. So this area, I had started to place um, the dead and you know leaves that had dropped and all of this and I was going to just do a, a mini compost pile here but changed my mind and thought well I'll just use this bin um, and clear this area as much as possible clear this area of all these things and you know construct um, the mini greenhouse here so just really this from this the table to the edge there and then I've got the compost bin um, the soil and everything is growing. So here's some experiments. I took cuttings from this because there's no seeds. Um, you can't propagate it in that way. May, um, the the other tree there's loads of trees similar in this. There's a trees um, further down, same as this. Um, they're grown now as trees but they're all seeded um, and that's where you saw the seeds of the orange blossom. So I thought I'd take some cuttings. I, um, when I took the cuttings a particular day, it poured with rain. And so um, I'm leaving them here as an experiment to see how they fare. Um, and I've done some other cuttings um, further out into the garden. But um, in here we have um, here we have soursop, or, yeah, soursop. So we've got two soursop um, seedlings, plants, and tamarind, that is supposed to be, two tamarind. Um, I was told it was tamarind. So I'm going to repot them. They, were, they started growing in a compost heap. So we're going to see what we can do with those. I don't think they are tamarind because I've got the same here. And I know that I didn't plant tamarind. Anyway, these are Moringa. So I've got about six plants there that um, I've got an area of the garden that I'm going to plant all my trees, fruit trees and medicinal trees. And I'm not sure what this one is. I took cuttings from my previous home and it was, it sprouted. It, I didn't even need to remove any of the leaves. And so I was thinking that maybe I would provide like a, like a mini, I know I was gonna do a mini fence just here, but of um, a hedge. But obviously this is not a hedge plant. So I'm gonna move it again and um, put it out of the front where I want more trees to grow for coverage. Um, so let's go on.